These are pennies, boys. Not dollars or, or, or dimes, just pennies. There are 30 of them. You want to know what you can buy with 30 pennies? Well, if you were planning on buying a Chevrolet Bel Air, you could step into a Dodge Coronet instead for 30 pennies a day. That's all. Of course, you're not buying a Chevy. You're selling Dodge. But if you can deliver a Coronet to a Bel Air prospect for an extra 30 coppers a day, it might be worthwhile taking a peek at what the Chevy offers, huh? Okay, here's your peek. Well, Chevrolet's big pitch this year seems to be the fact that they climb Pike's Peak. And uh, that's just fine and dandy. But let's not forget that early this fall, out on the sun-baked salt flats at Bonneville, a 1956 Dodge broke 306 existing American Automobile Association records for endurance and performance in an American stock car. Let me repeat, Dodge set triple A records. In a 14-day, 31,000-mile marathon, Dodge established an all-time record of 92.86 miles per hour, average speed. During that long, grueling test, Dodge set 24 new performance records, including the official AAA mark of over 114 and a half miles per hour for the flying start mile, and an average speed of 79 and a half miles per hour in the standing start mile. All this with an engine that's available to any Coronet buyer. Yeah. Tell them all this with this super-powered, super-red Ram engine that's available to any Coronet buyer. Okay, thanks, Doc. Now, none of your prospects are going to be driving their cars for 31,000 miles at a stretch, any more than they're going out to sail up Pike's Peak. But if they buy Coronet, they'll be getting an engine with the same basic design as the powerful one that shattered all the records at Bonneville. What's more important, in the case of Chevrolet-minded prospects, they'll be buying a car that Chevrolet just cannot match for sustained speed, for dependability, for a deep backlog of reserve safety power. The Coronet V8 has more horsepower than the Bel Air V8, 189 standard or 230 optional. Chevrolet falls short with 170 standard or 205 optional. For breakaway power, Coronet has as much as 18% more torque than Chevrolet. But these are only figures, after all. The big reason for Coronet's superiority under the hood is the advanced design of the entire engine. Dome-shaped combustion chambers, which reject carbon, instead of wedge-shaped chambers like Chevrolet's, which collect it. You see, the dome-shaped chamber assures complete combustion, better and more efficient breathing, and more efficient engine operation. Coronet has resistor-type spark plugs with tips that extend deep into the combustion chambers. They can fire the fuel so it burns evenly across the pistons. Chevrolet's standard tip plugs are off to one side. Coronet provides big car features with extra protection for precision engine parts. There's an oil bath air cleaner, a rotary oil pump, and a floating oil intake. The oil bath air cleaner is available in the Bel Air at extra cost, but the rotary oil pump and the floating oil intake are conspicuous by their absence on the Bel Air. All right, inside the big coronet, literally at the driver's fingertips, all this terrific reserve power is packaged in the neat, simple, magic touch push button control. With Power Glide, the Bel Air buyer still gets a stick on the steering column, like a standard shift job. Incidentally, Coronet does not depend on the transmission to hold the car when it's parked. We have an independent parking brake for that purpose, as well as for extra stopping power in case of an emergency. The Bel Air driver can use a parking brake that's attached to the rear service brakes with cables. Of course, he may have trouble getting unparked if those cables freeze or corrode. Or he can put Power Glide in the park position. This drops a pull into the gear carrier. Of course, there's a good chance of losing some teeth if the car is bumped while it's parked. 
Coronet has some more unique big car safety features which will be news to a Bel Air driver. Electric windshield wipers, for example, the kind that never slow down during acceleration. Bel Airs often do slow down because they are vacuum. Although Chevy will install electrics at extra cost, a PowerFlight Coronet has a big car brake pedal, five and a half inches wider than the PowerGlide Bel Airs. Now, that pedal has direct control over each front wheel brake shoe because each shoe has its own power cylinder. The Chevy powers two shoes with one cylinder. The Coronet driver gets a big view of the road, too. There's no eye-level blind spot like the one created by Bel Air's vertical corner post. By the way, these square corner posts have another disadvantage. Along with the blunt front and square rear, they make this little car look even shorter. Another thing, the Dodge type spear on the Chevy simply doesn't seem to fit the shorter car, like it does the big Coronet. From the front, it's the Coronet's wide, wide lines versus the Bel Air's square meshwork. And at the rear, it's a commanding distinction of the big car taillights versus the lack of any tail end accent on the small car. Now, we've been talking big car and small car. Here's why. Here are two cars in the same price class, yet one, the big Coronet, is heavier, wider, and longer, nearly 15 inches longer than the other. The extra size pays off, too. For one thing, Coronet door openings are both higher and wider than Bel Air's so people can get in and out easily and comfortably without knocking their hats off. Inside, there's more big car room for more big car comfort, with extra space in every dimension that counts. And there's more luggage space. The Coronet trunk is bigger in every dimension, including a six-inch advantage in depth. This bigger car gives an extra comfortable ride. So get prospects out on the road and let them form their own opinions of the Coronet's velvety, shock-free ride. Let them experience its smoothness, its silence, its stability. The wonderful AuraFlow shock absorbers are partly responsible for that superior ride. The Coronet also has long, flexible, splay-mounted rear springs. The Bel Air has neither AuraFlows nor splay-mounted springs. Yes, get them out on the road and you can rest your case on the way the Coronet will outperform Chevrolet's Bel Air. Outclass it by every standard. For in the low price field, there is only one car that delivers big car fashion and prestige. And that's the Coronet. And did you want to say something, Doc? You gang tootin' I do. I want to say you have a lovely voice. You're forgetting the facts of a salesman's life. The deal. Sure, boys. Tell the prospect why the big coronet is a better car. But just between you and me, you figure out the difference between a Bel Air and a coronet in your town. It'll come out about 30 cents a day on a 24-month contract. And where but in a Dodge can a guy have so much fun for... 30 cents a day.